Hey everyone, it's uh, Monday the 26th of February and it's almost 20 past 6 in the evening. I have to stop and remember what the date was. <laughs> anyway, in this video we're going to attempt to get at least one of those compact desk pros up and running on with an OS and whatnot. I've just realised I've put all the cover back on, I've put the monitor on it, I haven't put a hard drive in it. That's not much good, is it? Uh, kind of need a hard drive. So, let's see if I can find one first. Not those three. Uh, I think really I would want the smallest one possible. So I don't know what the maximum size uh, Windows 95 could read. Let's see uh, what would make this a master. I can't. I'll leave that one for now. <laughs> no. It's going to be one of these. I actually know what it is. It's a dead drive, so I don't know why that's up there. Obviously, I wasn't thinking when I put that one up there. Right. So. Pretty much got everything set up. The bezel is missing off the front because I just got fed up with it falling off. So I thought the best thing to do until I can come up with a fix is just to leave it off while I'm tinkering with it at least. So I'll put all the cover on. Because I thought I'd be clever, you know, and get everything ready. And I thought, you know, if I put the cover on, I can put the monitor up here. But then I forgot about the hard drive. I think I'm going to go with this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to attempt. Keeping in mind there is very little... Can I actually go in from the front? Yeah, let me go in from the front. It will. So now what I've got to do is connect up the necessary cables. Was meant to clip into this or I don't know, have I not got it in right? Well, as long as it actually just stays there, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, let's get the side cover back on. I'm not going to put the screw in because I may have to get in there again, so. Put a monitor up there, keyboard is here, mouse is there, power button there. Our disc is here. I don't even know if this will actually print automatically from the disc like Windows 98 does. I have no idea, I've not even looked for any YouTube videos or anything. That rear case fan's going to need changing because that sounds god awful. Or I could try the oil trick. There is a trick where you can peel back the little sticker that goes over the bearing and just drop a couple of drops of oil in there. Okay, so we've got that. Ah! I should have done the uh, BIOS battery, shouldn't I? I'll do that later. So let's. F1 safe changes. Hopefully it's not going to be unhappy about the time and date. If it is, like I said, I'll just change it. F10 is set up, so we'll just try and boot and see if it'll go from the disc CD. Yeah. 
No, apparently the hard drive's got Windows 98 on. <laughs> so the question is, can I get this to boot? Will it actually boot? Or have I just got a machine working by plonking a hard drive in it? I had a feeling that was going to do that because that drive didn't sound very healthy. All right. I got a bit unlucky with that drive. I could have sworn I'd gone through all the hard drives and formatted each and every one. I guess I missed one. I don't even remember taking this out of a Windows 98 machine or anything. Right. Hmm. Oh, hang on. I'm actually wondering if that was the dead one out of... I think it was the other compact. It may have been now that I think about it. So we'll try this one. Like so. I'm going to turn it on again. Okay, so maybe the fan is not the problem. That drive sounds okay. CD is booting up. It says disk error. I don't want to put the lid on because I've got to take that drive out again in case that is another dud one. Time and date not set. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, I had a feeling that would do that. We're going to uh, set up, I think. Sorry, I just had to twist that monitor a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's actually just set time and date while I've got the mains plugged in. Uh, oh, we'll just use the arrow keys. It's nice and simple. So do I tab to go across them? Down we go. It's 26, isn't it? But it's definitely not 1980. So let's wind that round to today's year, which is 2024. Brilliant. F10 to accept. Uh, Security storage. Okay, yeah, it's detecting the primary drive. Both primary drives. You've got an attacking CD drive, apparently. Okay, that is good. IDE options. Huh. 
stand there. How do I miss that? The CD-ROM drive is actually in there first. And it doesn't want to boot from... Okay. So changes and exit. May not even be it was ramped up like it was reading the disc, but it's not doing anything. I don't know what I did with uh, my workstation disc. I've got quite a few of them over here. No, it's not in there. This office 2000. Could potentially stick that on this one. Uh, well, where the flipping nuts is that? Oh, hang on. I know where it is. It's in here, isn't it? So I'll just plug it into. I used it in here. There it is. Let's try that. So it does work. So I'm going to assume then that that is not a boot disk. Do not make illegal copies of the disk. I don't think Microsoft is going to give two hoops at the minute. <laughs> Not on an OS that's like uh, 25 odd years old now. It's not like they're going to be making money from that now, is it? I'm not condoning making illegal copies. I'm just thinking, you know, I just don't think Microsoft would care much. We'll get someone from Microsoft coming after me now. <laughs> yeah. All right. One thing I was thinking of doing, as I've only got one decent bezel, is to perhaps transplant everything that's in the other one of these into a different case. Um, just to make things a wee bit easier. Welcome to set up, uh, to set up Windows NT now, press enter, yes. So I'm just going to press enter. 
Yes, we'll proceed. There's my page down button. F8, because I'm going to agree. So, yep, yep, yep. Keyboard layout US, no. UK, but where is that going to be? There it is. I'm guessing US is just default as well. Windows is a US company, isn't it? Right. Yep. That's okay. That's going to take a while to format that, I expect, so I'm going to pause the camera and we'll come back a little bit later. Right, it didn't actually take that long, maybe 10 minutes to get to this sta um, stage. So I'm just going to do what it requested and I'm going to put that in and click OK. I can't believe how quick it actually uh, got to this point. Next. Uh, I'm just going to go with Tip because I think. Please type your full name. Um, I'm just going to go for something so we go for Randy Pandy Show. Oh, smudge. Yeah. Or a shift key break. There we go. Organization. Um, I don't know. I'll put in my favourite animal show. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. Now that is a problem. I don't have a product key. What if I can uh, find one on Google? Because there's definitely not one on the disc and there's definitely not one on the case. DSG Retail Limited, that's all that's on there. Yep. I was hoping I had something there. Right, I might have to just pause again then. So, just to see if I can find a key. We've got a CD key here for Windows Server. But I doubt that's going to work. I can try that, I suppose. It's either going to work or it isn't, isn't it? Gonna work. Okay then, let's see if I can find one. Be right. There's an old saying that goes, seek and ye shall find. Find one. So it's true, all we've got to do is have a little search around on the Googles, and there we go. So just name the computer. I don't want to password it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh. 
I need to do is probably do whatever's necessary, I don't care, I just want to get it working. Anyway, what I was going to say is I'm going to have to perhaps write that down a bit neater than what I've done here. in the case maybe well I can remember where I put the case <laughs> ah, there it is um, I'm just reading what I said on there it just says no for something right um supposed to make that noise. Might be in trouble if it's not. <laughs> right. Date and time zone. Granite. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. Seems okay. Right. and noted down a bit neater. I just scribbled it down when I was in there. that work now, won't we? It sounds like it, it sounds fine. Hold that up a little bit. Hoping I can get that to slide in just like a ordinary CD sleeve. So far, so good. I'm assuming it's still doing something. You can't do nothing on here yet. Just 
seriously getting annoying to look at. Okay. It's actually uh, I was formatting the disc. I mean, in honestly, in honesty, rather, it doesn't matter if uh, a floppy disk drive does completely break because I've got plenty up there. <laughs> so. Right, so I just want to build a Windows 95 now. I wonder if I should do it with floppy disks instead. I should try and get a set of those. Well, I'm going to pause this again. We'll be back in, well, hopefully a few minutes. It'll be a couple of seconds for you guys. Here we go. Windows NT workstation, which looks just like Windows 98. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried about that. You know, to that program, you just click on them. Yep. It is, it's, it's just like Windows 98. Or even ME. Well, actually, I think because of this, it's closer to Windows 2000. It's because of that colouring. Hyperterminal. So that is different then to a lot of the others because we're going to have that Windows NT Explorer. Oh, I see. It's working really fast as well. So there's nothing for entertainment under there, so you don't get the games. Then again, I suppose it's specifically designed for a workstation, hence the name. <laughs> Right, where's my case? I'm going to put that CD back in there. There is one thing a little bit wrong with that. I did get the floppy disk stuck when I ejected it. So they do get caught sometimes. I can put that. Perhaps I should just put that floppy in here as well. There we go. And I've got everything in there. It's all kept safe. I really don't know why that one ended up in the... Uh, covered because it is the dud one. I actually thought that was a good one out of the two. I got them around the wrong way. But look at that. So I just need to fix a bezel, put the side cover on properly because I've just sat it on there for now. Um, is that going to do anything? Install Windows messaging? No. My computer... Four hundred megabyte, four hundred and one megabyte hard drive. That's a tiny little hard drive, and the OS has actually used half of it. Well, I'd like to have uh, installed Windows ninety five, but I've still got one machine. I just need an install disk. Uh, gee, this really is a crappy bezel. It's got that chunk missing. And it's got that big old crack. I mean, I could glue the crack and that chunk wouldn't be a bad thing. What I'd actually like to do is try and pop this off and put it on the other one. But I've got a 
feeling I'm going to have to glue it on the other one. Yep, because that's just broken another post. Because this is what's missing from the other bezel. But the other bezel isn't cracked, it's just missing this. But uh, I may have to put a bit of super glue on it. Uh, yeah, on one corner I will. I will have two on one corner. I've still got three pegs. Um, so I've just got to get two pegs out of this now, haven't I? There we go. There's one, two, Just make sure I got, I'm getting that round the right way. Yep, mate. That just presses on like that. Oh, there's just a tiny little crack there. I'm not worried about that. I could get a bit of epoxy or something and just go over that little crack in there. And there's just this bit, which again I can. Just glue that back in place and give it a clean up. Because again, it's just broke the uh, tab. That's the problem with plastic. Certain types of plastic gets brittle as it gets older. Now I've got to find a way to keep that on there, haven't I? Awesome. I'm well chuffed with that. It's actually quietened it down a heck of a bit more just putting that on there. You know, I need to try and clean off this tape residue here because this was taped on to the other machine. No, sorry, it was taped on to this one. I was thinking it was the other machine's bezel because I just put that on. So yeah, I've got a little bit of uh, gluing to do for this one. Yeah, what I would like to do is find a different case. Let's see if I could find a computer from this sort of period which is dead. It may have a dead motherboard in it or something so I can just swap the hardware over and whatnot. <clears throat> I, just, I can't believe how quick. This is quicker than Windows 98. And it's literally just a crappy hard drive in there. And 32 megabytes of RAM, I think. I'm assuming this is going to have like control panel. Yeah. We'll just have a look. Oh no, that's server, not system. Duh. It's an A6 family six model seven stepping three. Doesn't actually say how quick the uh, processor is. ATAT compatible. Andy Pandy. Performance boost. Virtual memory, and that's all fine. I don't want to. I've got no reason to change the defaults, so. Yeah, another vintage machine from the 1990s, maybe a bit later. I just want to be late 1990s, wouldn't it, with a slot one? Um, I think. And again, that worked fine. Might help if I actually show you what I'm pointing at. There we go. That's working fine, and that's working fine. Am I just getting lucky with these machines? I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> what I am going to do is try and get that pushed on. I'll probably put different thumb screws on the other machine. 
These two came off of this one, so I'm going to put them back. I think it's great that Compaq designed these. So you can actually use them as a desktop like this, you know, and stick your monitor on it. Or, you can get hold of it. And when your monitor is not sitting on the power cable, just smack the key. And when your keyboard, when your monitor's not on the power cable, nearly pull it out as well. You can also use it that way up. Which I actually think is a good option to have. It does not slide very well on the worktop, believe it or not, with these uh, rubber feet. That one I'll probably say for the Windows 95 build. I'll just look at my one over that 98 over there. I really do like that machine. Considering it was literally just a random purchase. These ones that I actually did want. <clears throat> I'm not really sure why I bought this big one over the back here. You can't quite see it, I don't think, can you? Oh, you can see the bottom of it. I need to get some stuff in and give these a, a good clean, I think. It certainly needs a good clean down there. I should probably clean this before I attempt to glue anything because the glue will adhere better on something clean. Can we customise the desktop on this like we can other machines? We certainly can. We can pick a screensaver as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. Ooh. Background, 50% grey. No. Critters? No. Diamonds? Maybe? Mm. It's not bad. I don't know about anyone else, but I find a lot of these old backgrounds quite hard on the eyes. What about that one? Ooh. <clears throat> oh, I see. You can just put it in the middle. No, I don't like that one either. What else have we got? Ooh, no. I don't like that one. No. Plus, use large icon, show you window contents while dragging. Can only do 16 colours. Use hard work, yeah, that's all fine, I'll just leave it like that. There we go, now we've got the reminder there of what it is. <coughs> Soft, soft Internet Explorer. Brilliant. I'm well happy. I've just got two... Uh, I've now got three working retro machines that all need a clean down. And I still haven't done it yet. It might be a job for tomorrow. Um, I barely ever plan anything ahead. I don't plan my days ahead. I just wake up and then decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> And one of the reasons I do that is because I find when you make plans, they either get ruined or they have to change for one reason or another. So I just don't like to plan ahead. I just take each day as it comes. Anyway, that will be it for this video. So hopefully, I don't know when it'll be, but I will do another one on the other machine. Another video that is on the other machine. When I can obtain a Windows 95... 
installation CD or maybe even a floppy disk set. I'll just have to have a hunt around on eBay. It's very hard to know with these CDs. I'm guessing that CD I've got is like just a recovery disk or an upgrade disk maybe. Maybe I could install Windows like this and then upgrade to it. I don't know. As I said earlier, I'm not an expert at these older machines. In fact, I know extremely little on these older machines. Um, and even less on Microsoft NT, because I've never used it. I've never even seen a machine that runs it. This is literally my first time using it and making one and whatnot. Um, although, just quickly before I go, I am watching a couple more desktops from the same seller. He's actually got a Viglum, which I'm going to guess is Windows 3.1, which I've already got in a cupboard. But that one doesn't boot. Um, and then maybe when I've got a bit of extra cash, and if it's still for sale, I might put an offer in. He's got it up for $49.99, including the shipping and whatnot, or free shipping. Um, but I might see if I can get it for 40 because I'm, I'm just thinking, even if it is totally dead and, you know, like the power supply has exploded or something, I, I've still got a machine there for spare parts for mine. But we'll see. It could sell between now and whenever I've got the cash. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. You know the drill by now. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. A thumbs down if you didn't. Um, also, if you want to see more videos like this and lots of other things, I have lots of different hobbies and things, um, and please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It helps me, it helps the channel, and it helps you follow the channel. Especially if you hit the notification uh, bell icon after subscribing. Um, and if you check the video description down below, somewhere, down there, um, I will include links in there for my other two YouTube channels, my <coughs> excuse me, uh, my Discord server and my Twitch channel. So feel free to uh, check those out as well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.